Hey guys, just a quick announcement before we get on to the actual video. I'm doing a Q&A for this year's Christmas special, and I'd really appreciate just a bunch of questions. Q&As have always been successful in the past, and you know, I can't wait to do a new one now that we're here with a bunch of you guys here. And it's going to be a great time, since over Christmas, I'm going to be gone in America, in San Diego. You know, I thought I'd get something pre-made so I can upload it on Christmas Day. You know, just my way of saying thank you. Okay, so on to the actual video now. Ow. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have another LEGO creation. This one took actually an entire month to design and build. The entire process was just quite a long one. But here we have it finally. I'm proud to present my FAMAS F2. Not to be confused with the F1 because clearly they are completely different weapons. And, well, yeah, let's just get started since there's a bunch of features that I want to get through. Now, designing this gun was a pain in the ass. From the very start, I had decided to build the entire lower receiver upside down, as you can see here. If I take off some of these smooth tiles, it's all upside down. And the reason being this one angle right here. I figured since I didn't have any of these slopes in the upside down variant, I guess, I'd just build the receiver upside down, you know? Easy. <laughs> yeah, what a joke. I was absolute hell. But, you know, it was a good experience, so if you guys ever need a challenge when you're building LEGO guns or whatever, just try building something upside down. It's... <laughs> it's not fun. Now, I tried out some new techniques when actually sort of scaling the gun. I basically measured the original picture, did some math and calculations, and in the end ended up with sort of the right dimensions. And it's quite useful for building a life-sized gun. Now, moving on to the features, of course you have your basic features, like the working trigger, working safety, that actually pivots like the real FAMAS safety, as you can see. The removal magazine and magazine release, as you can see. Just, it's fairly standard, you got your fake bullet, obviously not to scale. The magazine is two studs wide, which is quite sucky, but because of the field strip, I couldn't do anything about it, really. Otherwise, this entire thing would shatter. You have the charging handle with the ejection port, as you can see. We have the carrying handle and the bipod, which clearly neither of these are actually able to function. I'm <laughs> just look at these things. So here we are at the alternate camera angle. Um, I fixed the lighting a bit, so clearly it's a lot brighter. And let's just get straight into it. It's like the real FAMAS. You start with this pin, as you can see, it just comes out. And this entire upper carrying handle bit just slides off. Here we go, here's the top bit. The back just slides off. I wanted to have a pin here, but I couldn't manage it because of the slopes right here for this colorful design here, right here. You see that? You see that? It's really fancy, you know? There's a rubber band in here that doesn't actually do much because of the friction of the field strip or whatever. The bolt does actually come off, as you can see. You just take some things apart. And so, you know, you got your two sight posts and your barrel which just comes out and that too is at an angle because of this receiver and of course the magazine just take that out so yeah here's the main body section this is the part that's built upside down you can see it very clearly when i take it apart and really yeah it's quite nice here you can see how the safety works as you can see this little part just rotates in to block the trigger from moving and that's really it for the field strip you can see all the parts this is extremely accurate or as accurate as I could get it to the real field strip and I'm honestly extremely proud of this one so let's just put this together and end the video off here but that's basically it I want to thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me over this one month gap I know I haven't posted in a bit but if you saw my left for dead filler video you'll know that um, there's been some issues with sort of motivation and building these guns I've been kind of slacking i guess but after taking a break i feel a lot better i'm kind of more into it but you know breaks are always nice life lesson kids breaks are mm, fantastic but yeah really again thank you guys so much for watching uh i guess stay tuned for my next video don't forget to like with the new whole youtube algorithm shit going on and yeah thank you guys so much for watching Look, part of me, a full part of me is in love, I know we just met But a part of you is in part of me, that's how I know it's more than just sex I'm like, oh girl, you're my ghost girl, you're, oh, 
You take away my breath And if I break your heart And you break my heart And there's not a lot of heart left And I ain't the best at this That's my exorcist